everybody. Last week's theme was talk about a book you don't like. I didn't like Twilight, and I decided to talk about that. And one of our viewers didn't necessarily agree with me. So hi Moonlight9283, I'm Chelsea. Just, here's me shaking your hand. Um, I'm sorry that we disagree on this, but things that you say are not going to change my opinion about it. And um, I get we both like The Catcher in the Rye, I know that. Mm, I dislike your favorite book and you just like my favorite book. That's just how it's going to be. Um, I'm sorry about that. I hope we can be friends. Today I'm going to review Cheaper by the Dozen by Frank and Ernstine Gilbreth and their brother and sister. They This is a non-fiction young adult book and it's a memoir and they're looking back kind of on their childhood and writing a memoir of it. And it's basically, it's mostly about their relationship with their father. All twelve, There is a family of 12 children and it's about their relationship with their father and with each other. Um, basically when you get a lot of children together, 12 brothers and sisters, um, things tend to get a little crazy, and so it talks about a lot of shenanigans. I read it a while back. I thought it was okay. It was funny in parts. Um, it, it's, I thought it was cute because it was true. The stories in here are true, and I liked that. I, th I thought it was funny. It was a really easy read, so if you just want a kind of funny, easy read, um, this is a good read. All of you who know me know that I am not a fan of pre-cal because I'm not that good at it. I took my last pre-cal test today. I am done with math for the semester. I still have to be in like, how many more math classes do I have? Why am I messing with my headband? What's today? It's Wednesday. I'm making a video. I have six days left in my junior year and I think that only four of them are going to be spent in a math class. I'm excited. I don't have any more math homework. I don't have any more math tests. I got commended performance on the tax test, which is the Texas Assessment of Knowledge and Skills, which means I have a 100 as my exam grade, which is going to boost my average because that's 20% of my average. I'm very excited. The school year's almost over. Yay! Um, I don't think we have a theme this week, so Megan, I'll see you tomorrow.